edema which means the accumulation of fluid in interstitial spaces to understand this statement properly let us dive into the concept of water distribution in human body approximately 16% of the total body weight is contributed by the water but this water is not present at a single place rather it is distributed between the intracellular compartment and extracellular compartment now when i talk about the intracellular compartment it basically means the water which is present inside the cell and the contribution by this intracellular water is 40% or 2/3 of the total water content in living body now the other part that is the extracellular compartment its contribution is 20% or 1/3 part of the total water content in human body now this extracellular compartment is further divided into interstitial fluid and intravascular fluid you are already familiar with the intravascular fluid which basically means the fluid which is present inside the blood vessels and inside the blood vessels the majority of the water is present in the form of plasma so when we talk about intravascular fluid we are basically dealing with plasma water which is around 4% now you would really be curious to know what is the interstitial fluid before you get confused just look at the diagram this space which is present outside the cell and outside the blood vessel is termed as interstitial space and the fluid that lies or present in this interstitial space is termed as interstitial fluid which contributes roughly around 16% moreover the root word of the interstitial is interstitium and this prefix inter denotes empty spaces between the cell hence the term interstitial fluid means the fluid which is present between two cells now be ready to have a screenshot of the chart that i've prepared for you guys for the entire water distribution in living body and enjoy as mentioned earlier edema is basically defined as the accumulation of fluid in interstitial spaces or any body cavities such as peritoneal cavity pericardial cavity now since you're aware of what interstitial space is now the only concept which is left in detailed explanation is edema so i will be discussing about edema in more depth in next lectures so just stay tuned and hit the subscribe button and say this radhe radhe